Hello and welcome to your school me. In this in-depth overview of the popular Twitter client TweetDeck, we're going to look at some of its most powerful and useful features. To start with, to download TweetDeck, simply launch your browser and go to TweetDeck.com, then click on the Download Now It's Free button, and as you can see, it's compatible with Apple, Windows, and Linux. Once you've downloaded and installed TweetDeck, simply launch it from your dock or your applications folder. As you can see, it will start by asking you for your Twitter username and password. If you don't want to have to enter this every time you launch TweetDeck, just click Remember Me, then click Sign In. As you can see, TweetDeck launches with three columns. All Friends, which displays all the tweets from all the people you're following. Replies, which just displays the tweets that have been made in response to one of your own and direct messages. This displays all your private correspondence. Running along the top of the screen, we get access to some of TweetDeck's more powerful features such as groups, search, Facebook integration. In the top right hand corner, we can refresh, switch to single column view, change the settings and access TweetDeck's preferences, or log out. In the lower left hand corner, it will tell you when TweetDeck was last updated. This is how simple it is to make a tweet in TweetDeck. Simply click on the Tweet icon at the top of the screen and then enter your text. Now, once you're finished with your tweet, there's two ways to send it. The old-fashioned way, which is click on the Send Tweet icon, or you can just press Enter on the keyboard. So you can see it tells us we're sending the tweet and tweet has been sent and now it will appear in the All Friends section of TweetDeck. To reply to a tweet all you need to do is find the tweet that you want to reply to and then put the mouse over the user's icon. As you can see we now have access to four buttons. In the top left hand corner we have reply to and then the username. So I'm going to click this and as you can see, it automatically adds at hyphen 31 for me, so I don't have to type that when I want to reply. Then just enter your response. And then again, to send it, just hit return on the keyboard. Now, to send a direct message to someone, again, put your mouse over the user's icon, and then click on the icon in the top right hand corner, the mail icon. Then just enter your private message to the user. Again, I'm going to hit return to send that. To retweet a post, just find the post that you want to retweet, click on the user's icon, then click on the retweet button. As you can see, this adds the retweet at and their username. Then just hit enter on the keyboard. To translate a tweet, simply type it in your native language, then click on the Translate this update button and then choose the language you want to translate to from the drop down menu. I'm going to select German and as you can see it translates it for us. Now how accurate is TweetDeck's translate tool? I'm not sure. This is why in this tweet I actually asked any native German speakers to give me feedback as to how accurate this is. I'm going to send that and I wonder if anyone will reply. To add an image to your tweet, simply click on the Twit Pick icon, navigate to the folder which your picture's in, select it, and then click Select. As you can see, it's telling us that it's uploading it to Twit Pick. If you don't have a Twit Pick account, you can create one for free at twitpick.com. As you can see, the upload is successful and it gives us a link to the picture. Now all I'm going to do is add a quick description. And of course, to send the tweet, I'm going to hit Enter. Now, if we click on the link, we can see that it launches it within TweetDeck and will display our image. To close it, I'm just going to click the X. Now I'm going to show you how to shorten URLs. As you can see, I've started to write a tweet, and now I want to provide a link so all my followers can check it out. I'm going to launch Safari, and as you can see, I'm at the Flick School website. So I'm going to copy the URL and then I'm going to paste it in TweetDeck. 
are O. As you can see, it goes red. And we're eight characters over the 140 character limit that Twitter has. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Now what I'm going to do is click in the shorten URL field and I'm going to paste it in there. Then I'm just going to put my cursor where I want the link pasted and then click shorten. Here we can choose which URL shortening service we want to use. TinyURL and bit.ly are the most popular so I'm going to click bit.ly and I'm going to click shorten. As you can see it shortened the link and I'm not exceeding Twitter's 140 character limit. Then to send that I'm just going to hit enter on the keyboard. Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite things about TweetDeck. It has built-in tweet shrink functionality. So as you can see here, I've written a tweet, but it's 12 characters over the 140 character limit. Now rather than having to rewrite this to try and fit it in, I can just click on the tweet shrink button and it will do its best to remove characters that you don't really need to understand it. So as you can see, it's changed all the TOs to twos, it's removed an A out of what, YOU becomes you, and suddenly we've got another six characters to play with. Now one great thing to start doing is tagging your tweets. This means anyone searching for a tag will see your tweet as part of a larger picture. So for example, if I have just about finished this podcast, I'm going to add the tag and the tag symbol is this, Apple Ed. Now, people who add the tag Apple Ed are always talking about something to do with Apple education or Apple in education, technology in education. So, if I click return, that means that anyone who searches for Apple Ed as opposed to one of my tags will see that and then they might start following me. We'll be looking at groups and tags a little bit later, but that's how easy it is to add a tag. Simply put the hash symbol followed by your tag. 